I want to give you a little tour of Cath Lab 2 here. This is a GE Innova 2100 system, a fixed C arm, as you can see. A couple of little things around the room I want to point out to you. This is uh, just a stainless steel scrub table with a cath back on it and a little angio kit ready to get started for the next patient. This, what you see here on a boom above head, is a Citra radiation protection shield. As you can see, you can see through it, it's kind of a leaded plexiglass. Uh, infusion pump and then a roll around shield over there. And a crash cart over there and four strings on a boom there that can throw overhead and can be moved around the room. Now, some of the things I want to show you about x-ray here are the controls. This is called a smart handle, what you're seeing right here. I'll show you some more about that in a minute. And this is another controller for doing a lot of different functions with x-ray. One of the things I want to show you right now is how uh, the home the system, and of course this is the x-ray table by the way, you can see the full length of it. I'm going to home this system real quick just by the push of the button here, and you'll notice the C-arm go back into position and swing around into kind of a zero position, okay? And that's the situation where you're going to do the cath from. Now the table itself, I can hit the unlock button there, and you can see how the table itself swings out and in as needed. So I'm going to lock that back down. And now one of the things I wanted to kind of explain the most to you here is first I'll show you how the table moves so you move the patient around and then show you how the C arm moves around. So we can go LEO like this and that's, that's a PA LEO. Then we can go cranial that direction or of course we can go call them in this direction. Now using the smart handle again what I'm doing is just going to turn the handle, hold the switch and move the C arm back to a fairly neutral position. There we go. That's kind of a PA. I'm sure I'm off by a degree or two. And then of course we can go the same direction in the opposite side. An REO, cranial, and then an REO. Oh, that's a little bit steep. Let me move that back. There we go. And then an REO call. And once again, I'm just going to home it by hitting this one switch. The way I think about some of the basic images for doing a cath is, think of it like a tic-tac-toe grid. So you have nine squares. You have PA, and then you're gonna go LA, O, and REO. And then you can go PA, cranial, PA, caudal. Or you can go LA, REO, cranial, or caudal. So in other words, about nine different segments. We don't use every single one of those necessarily for doing um, all our images, but we use a good many of them. We're in the control room right now where we store a lot of different products that we use throughout a cath. Uh, just to give you an idea of this cabinet here, there are sheets and wires all throughout this, a lot of different products we use. These are uh, mostly femoral sheets. I would say the majority of what we use is six French, but as you can see, four, five, six, seven, and eight French. And then some specialized radial sheets that you see right here. Also down here at the bottom are a few other different, different brands and slightly differences between uh, these longer sheets at the bottom than you see at the top. These, these sheets at the bottom are actually 23 centimeters long, whereas all these are 10. Okay, this cabinet is full of catheters. These are all, just about all these are diagnostic. Actually, there's a couple of uh, guiding catheters in here as well. They're all five and six French, and I just want to give you a little idea about them. Let's look at the uh, six French here. This is a six French JL4. Uh, probably about the, one of the most widely used catheters we have. The uh, JL4 refers to uh, Judkins left a four centimeter curve. That's the actual picture of the tip of the catheter there, but I wanted to show you down here at the bottom what that tip actually looks like. Okay. Now, over here you see a six French MPA2. That's a very specifically tipped catheter as well. As you can see, it is very different than the other one we were just looking at. And I'll show you a five French LCB catheter. Let's see, right here. Uh, the LCB stands for left coronary bypass catheter. So all these catheters have very specific uses. As you can see, the tip is very different as well.
We're in our storage room, uh, which is, has a roll around storage facility here. And I want to give you an idea of some of the myriad different products we use. There are a ton of different types of wires here. Uh, these are all interventional wires specifically. As you can see, gloves. There's some pretty specialized little products here, like a, a filter wire. This is a very specific uh, type of device along with the spider wire. They are quite similar. Uh, this is another big room full of catheters. Now these are a little bit different than the other catheters, which are diagnostic. These, these catheters here, just about all of these, are actually guiding catheters for intervention. Now, let's turn back down this way. As you can see, we have a lot of lead stored in this room as well. A lot of specialty products up here too. This is an aspiration catheter here. Actually, this is a couple of different aspiration catheters. Very similar, very similar products. Um, let's see, roll the room around a little. As you can see, just tons of different kinds of products that we use throughout the cases. These uh, specific uh, boxes here are all balloons here and here. A lot of different types and sizes. Now, as far as stents go, here is uh, one particular brand or type of stent that we use quite a bit of. These are um, Expedition Alpine stents. They're made by, well, actually they're called Zion's Expedition Alpine and uh, they're made by Abbott. As you can see, quite a few of those. And a little further down here, some more specialty products. Uh, some bare metal stents, other stents from different uh, different manufacturers. Uh, these are these particular devices are uh, intra aorta aortic balloon pumps. This very cool device here is a is what we call an impella. As you can see on the end there, it's made by Aviamed. Very cool device as well. Used for offloading the left ventricle. And a little further down here are some lesser used products like some four French catheters, which are quite small as you can imagine. And then just a room full of uh, cath packs. These are kind of the, the basis of what we start with at the beginning of a case.
Here we go. Come on, yeah. Slave us free.